Hello everyone, today we're gonna discuss how to um, calculate uh, forest gain and forest loss uh, area using the Hansen Global Forest Change data on the Google Earth Engine Cloud Computing API. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, use the gain and loss um, bands of the forest um, uh, global forest change data and then we're going to calculate the total area of gain and the total area of loss for a specific study region. So let's get to coding. All right, so first thing is uh, we're going to load, you know, countries database and um, we're going to use the uh, US DOS um, global countries database and we'll filter it by country. And we're also going to um, import the uh, force chain data the, uh, from the Earth Engine here. As you can see, here's the image collection. And then we're going to select the gain and loss bands, as you can see here. Uh, this is the loss band, and this is the gain band here, uh, as you, you can see it here in the product layer. Um, so once we do that, so we're going to um, calculate the area. So we're going to use um, image uh, pixel area. So this will con convert the total area image into uh, area. So we're gonna use that. So for area loss, we're gonna first uh, import the image, the uh, first loss image, and then multiply by um, e -e image uh, dot pixel area. So this function, this is an Arsenium built-in function, will calculate area for a given image. So it'll technically convert the pixel into an area. And then we'll do the same for uh, the forest um, gain layer. So we'll create a variable called area gain here. And then we're gonna pass the gain image here. And then apply the same algorithm, which is converting this image into a um, uh, total area, uh, technically a pixel to area. Um, so yeah, once we have that, so this is uh, again an image. We haven't yet calculated um, the total um, area. So this is another function that does, um, oh, we have, we have to, um, in the function here, just close that. So this is um, technically a function that uh, converts the image into, um, um, you know, a value, um, a technically a summary. And so reduce region, technically this is a zonal statistics analysis. So we'll, we'll call that area loss image uh, for force loss and then apply reduce region. So the reduce region is a dictionary that, that has, um, you know, a, a few parameters. The, the first one is what kind of re reducer do you want? This is technically a statistical aggregation. Do you want sum? Do you want mean or median? So we're going to use, uh, because we're using a total area of loss, we're gonna use uh, e -re reducer sum or just total, right? And then the next one is we're gonna provide we're gonna need to provide a region of interest. So in this case, our region of interest is, um, you know, Ghana, right? So we're we're calculating a national forest loss. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna pass that geometry, which is our region of interest, uh, and then we apply geometry um, to convert that into a geometry, an Earth Engine geometry feature. And then we will provide a, f a few parameters. The first one is a max pixel. Usually we can leave this. Uh, this is optional, but sometimes it helps to uh, not to max out your Earth Engine quota uh, for processing especially high res data. And then the special resolution is scaled uh, 30 meter in this case. We can um, that's based on the data itself, right? So it's a 30 meter resolution. We can change it for a different data set, but for now, uh, 30 meter is fine. And so this function technically uh, converts that uh, area loss image, which is already um, uh, an image, but uh, in, in terms of every pixel contains the area, total area for that pixel. And then we're gonna use this function to convert that, um, to calculate the entire total area for, for uh, Gabon uh, forest loss. So if you execute this code, it's gonna show us that it's gonna calculate the total area here. So it's in square meter, you can convert it into kilometer square uh, or any other unit uh, for, for that matter. But for now, uh, we're just, so Earth Engine is now competing, you know, the, the total area. 
So, so now you can see that's the total area uh, of first loss uh, in Gabon. And so if you want to um, calculate the first gain, uh, this is a function, a similar function, but then you have to, um, you have to um, pass instead of the, the loss, you have to pass the area gain image. And then you'll use a similar function which is a dictionary, um, a zonal statistics or reduced region dictionary, which has a few uh, parameters, uh, as I've already said. Um, it's, um, you know, an aggregation statistics. Uh, now we choose sum, the irreducer sum, and also a geometry or shape file, which is our region of interest or ROI, and then um, a special resolution and a max pixels. And then let's go ahead and print that. So this will convert the total air image into um, actually calculating it into, into an, a numeric value so we can get a, a number. So now we know at a national scale, total area forest loss and total area forest gain. So this is our forest gain, which is definitely smaller than the, tor the, the loss. The, um, and so that's our total area again, and that's our total area forest. Uh, and um, so if you, if you want to um, uh, load the uh, steady region, um, which is our region of interest, as you, as you, as you see here, we can, uh, you know, we can, um, we can load it uh, by map at layer and just providing that ROI and uh, giving uh, region of interest um, a color which is gray and then uh, adjust the zoom level by map center object and we can go ahead and execute that so it can zoom into um, the um, it can zoom into um, the um, um, steady area and then if you also want to you know map the first gain and lost um, just to do a visualization we can do so um, you know, by uh, providing, for example, here we can do, um, you can write display of forest gain and loss. Um, so we can uh, pass a map at layer as always. And in this case, we're going to use the um, gain and loss, right? So the loss file here. So I would add a loss clip by ROI. And, and then also I'll update mask to just uh, remove the no data values. And again, loss. And that should be it. And then I'll create a palette. Uh, let's create a curly bracket to store the, you know, visualization parameter. And then I'll store a red for loss. And uh, again, I'll just create forest loss. That's a layer name technically. And then I'll do the same for the forest gain. Uh, just change the layer into gain instead of loss. That's the only thing I would change for forest gain. And then instead of red for uh, the forest gain, I'll change it to blue and then change the name. All right, so that should be it. And then this will display the um, forest gain and loss as well, uh, you know, just to visualize. We have calculated the forest gain and loss. Uh, now this is just uh, to visualize, you know, the forest, um, you know, gain uh, and loss, um, just in terms of, um, uh, you know, displaying it visually. Uh, let's see where we have some example of uh, both uh, forest gain and loss, right? Um, just to visualize. Uh, okay, so we have some uh, example here. So we have, you know, forest loss. Uh, this is the forested area and then forest loss in red and uh, blue is forest gain so technically um, that's how you um, mainly in this exercise we've done how to convert 
uh, a forest loss image into an area calculation using aggregation and zonal statistics and generate a numeric value of total um, area of forest loss and gain for Gabon here at a national scale. And in addition, we have also displayed the forest loss and gain, uh, you know, raster data sets um, here on the Erzingen uh, API.